Greetings, hello, welcome, everybody, everybody. Hi, hi. It's War with Rex, that guy. Monday time. <laughs> Yay, new challenge day. Yes. Vorm's favorite time of the month, <laughs> year, quarter, indeterminate time period specified. <clears throat> so yeah, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, brand new challenge. I love starting new challenges. As all the old timers know, my favorite part of the Cataclysm gameplay is the beginning, the early gameplay. I like the early gameplay. I get bored pretty quick once we get to super character status. Uh, that's just me. I know some people get disappointed when I end <laughs> I end runs uh, just very quickly <laughs> after I've achieved some ridiculous uh, some ridiculous circumstance and uh, gotten myself all powerful and stuff. But uh, that 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 end of the gameplay I stopped really enjoying a while back. Uh, I like the nitty gritty early game survival aspects when everything really counts and uh, you can't just just shrug off all the all the danger really and avoid it easily. Uh, so what are we doing? What are we doing? It's new new challenge. You guys uh, can use the night bot little button there. You can see I will read it for the, uh, the YouTube audience uh, who can also see it in the description when this premieres on YouTube in a few weeks. Uh, RBD Extreme and for novices, RBD stands for Really Bad Day. It is a scenario. One of the harder scenarios starts where there are very specific negative circumstances applied to the character. But uh, this one's called RBD Extreme. I have, as is my late uh, my late habit, I have swapped back to a default game world. So we just did a quote unquote hard road, hard mode game world where I double the zombies and double the evolution and set up other negatives for the world setup. Um, but now we're going to go back to a vanilla world. And I was thinking, all right, vanilla world, what can I do to make it hard? We're going to pick a hard scenario and then we're going to add in more hard stuff. <laughs> and then we're going to set ourselves some ridiculous task. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So we're going to play in a world that will be familiar to new players. If you are a new player of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, the world is completely default, completely vanilla. I did not change a single setting. We're just create new world, tab, 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 go. Uh, didn't change a thing. So the world itself and what we encounter and where we get things and all that is going to be familiar to you. Uh, the character is kind of weird. Pretty powerful, but with some major, major, major negatives that we're gonna we're gonna try to do. Another thing that I intended with this challenge is we just came off a mutation heavy challenge. There was an awful lot of me sitting in a Humvee and just driving around and not really doing much. So this time I said, well, let's change that that dynamic radically. Let's go 180 degrees in the other direction. This is gonna be all doing stuff all the time because. In addition to the RBD start, where we start out naked, infected, drunk, depressed, in a burning house with the flu, I am also not able to heal in any way, shape, or form. There's a new trait you can take for that called irreparable. I took irreparable, so we have zero healing ability. If I take damage, it is permanent. I'm also going to restrict myself uh, to say I cannot read. I'm not allowed to read anything, and I'm not allowed to use the crafting menu. No ampersand, no shift seven for me. So that's going to just completely wipe away a whole bunch of <laughs> boring downtime for uh, folks that uh, don't like that part of the gameplay or don't like seeing me sit in the Humvee reading books for, for hours on end. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we're going to get rid of all that stuff. Just just push it aside. It's all boring. We're just going to be running around constantly trying to get what we need to survive. And, um, yeah, I've also set myself some eh, one mildly difficult, one really difficult task to quote unquote, complete the challenge. Um, so thus begins Melvin's quest to find a, a panacea. That is a magical wonder drug, um, that, uh, replaced the old Royal jelly. That was a heal all. Uh, so he's got to find a panacea pharmacies, maybe, and, uh, labs sometimes, are uh, the most uh, likely places to get those. Uh, it's not going to help him. It's not going to fix his his no healing problem, but he thinks it is, and he's going to have to go get one. So we're going to make him get a panacea, and uh, since that's not going to work, we're going to need to try to protect him as, as best as we can. So we're going to try to track down an activity suit. And an activity suit is a high-end, super science-y uh, suit of not eh, sort of armor, <laughs> sort of armor, it's sort of like spaceman suit, armor, interdimensional travel protector suit. It's all sorts of things. That's a Zedra travel suit. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll learn if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's uh, really hard to get to a uh, really dangerous place to try to go, especially with a character that can't heal <laughs> or read or craft or any of that stuff. 
Uh, so I thought that would be a suitable uh, challenge to force us into some hair-raising shenanigans that uh, will probably very easily get me killed. I honestly don't know if this one's doable. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be rough. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That is RBD Extreme uh, that we're going to do. I'll show you the character in a second. Let me just catch up with chat. Hey there, chat. Hey, everybody. Uh, Volrath, Weeder, Radar. Uh, weirdness, strange optician, Vendor, Dirt, Dyriac, and General Happy Pie. All the usual chitty chatters. <clears throat> okay. Uh, are you saying anything I care about? Uh, no. Lots of, uh, oh my gods, lots of, uh, your crazies, lots of, uh, hellos. <laughs> um. Ah. Ah. What is an old timer to me? I uh, uh, approaching death. <laughs> uh, I don't know in what in what respect. <laughs> you got to set some some boundaries to that query. <laughs> an old time gamer would uh, there are there are no older timer gamers than me. I was gaming on computers when computers were gameable on. So uh, I'm as old as it gets in that particular regard. <laughs> All right, uh, I've also changed that little bar on the bottom right, so if anybody wants to save me from the heat, feel free. That's uh, new subs, so like gift subs, things like that. We're trying to count down. Uh, it's been like 100 plus Fahrenheit here where I'm at for a month, and it's looking like it's going to be for another month. And this room I'm in is stupid hot, and I can't get it cool. So I'm going to try to get a fan. I need a fan. Keep me and my computer cool. So if you feel like donating, feel free. If not, that's fine. Let's have some fun in the cataclysm. Uh, two, two, two. Oh yeah, preset character, new game in the RBD SV. No craft, no read. No, I, I. It was too long. I didn't put the no heal on there. <laughs> I got to get rid of morbid mouse. Uh, so really bad day. Shower victim. No crafting. No reading. And I didn't put the dash no heal tag on it. It was too long anyway. Load it. No crafting world. Nah, we're not way correct. We're not way fair. <laughs> I did not add. I can't unless I unless I cheat. The uh, irreparable is all twelve points they allow me to spend in multi pool, so I can't put on like uh, uh, any of the other negative traits. So because uh, I could have, unless I mean I can, but I could have gone to free form and all that. But I generally try to stick to multi pool. But I could have put illiterate on to force my not reading, uh, you know. But no, I, I, I'm not going to stack on any more negatives. It's already going to be stupid hard. You got to realize, for all the older folks that have been with the channel for a while and seen me done a bunch of these challenges, I have a a, a love, really, really hate uh, fascination with the RBD challenge. And in particular, the infection part of it. <laughs> I really, really dislike the infection stuff. And how it works and how often I do everything correctly, maximize my chances and die anyway in a really slow, boring, boring, boring for me and the audience way. I just wish they would roll the dice right at the beginning and say you're dead, not force me to sit through hours and hours of trying to get time to pass while I'm pustulating and vomiting and dehydrating. And then kill me. It's just, it, it's such a mind numbing, boring, anticlimactic death <laughs> that I can't stand that whole process. But we're going to suffer through it again. It's going to, it's going to happen. And I'm probably going to go into my diatribe for the, I don't know, 14th time. Something like that. We'll see though. But uh, hopefully it doesn't go that way. Hopefully we, uh, we get it fixed and the infection goes away and we can merrily go jaunting about the cataclysm. All right. So. Welcome, Melvin. This is Melvin, everybody. Everybody say hi to Melvin. Hey, Melvin. Uh, I am not doing uh, XXL shenanigans. I'm not uh, bumping up my stamina in ridiculous ways. We're done with that. I had my fun. Uh, no more uh, expostulating, expounding upon the silliness of the obesity system. Uh, so we're moving on. We're going with a, uh, you know, for intelligence, because, hey, we can't read, we can't craft, so who cares? Give me those points. I'm going to put them in strength. Uh, high strength, high dex, high perception, no intelligence. Uh, I went with ninjutsu. We're going to go with ninjutsu. We're not fully kitted out in the unarmed combat and uh, melee. We need to get a little bit of that. I think five is the target number for both in order to get the uh, last two techniques that are the most powerful ones. So we got a little work to do in that regard. Uh, but we're also going to maybe try some uh, some archery. 
I haven't fiddled with archery in a while, so I thought that might be fun if we can get into some hunting supply stores and uh, figure out, oh wait, I'm not going to be able to craft a uh, home wrecker. <laughs> We're going to have to use alternate methods to get into the back of the uh, hunting supply store. Uh, but yeah, so we might try some archery. We've got the strength for it, and um, I took a little bit of skill in it to, uh, to have some fun. So we're going to try to focus on being very silent, very deadly, very maneuverable, very dodgy. <laughs> and that's another reason to do the archery. So we're not making noise when we're shooting things. Our high perception plus night vision should give us five, five night vision in default conditions without the moon bonuses. I believe is that's the number with 11 perception. I think that gets you the third night vision space. And then two for the, or yeah, the third normal night vision space, and then two for night vision beyond that. So I think five. Um, and then with any kind of moon bonus, it'll push out a little further, and we might be able to do archery in the dark like a true ninja. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, what else? What else do we need to talk about? Uh, I find it odd. Let me talk about this. I find it odd when you pick the RBD scenario, and you pick shower victim as a start, when you come to this screen, look at this list. When I did a test world just to make sure the game was working after I did the uh, the, the experimental update today, it put me in a golf course <laughs> for the RBD start. Put me right in the front door of a golf course. What the hell's up with that? <laughs> why, why do we have a scenario that specifically says you're starting... I, and I don't believe the, the golf course was on fire. Maybe it was on the inside. I didn't actually move. I just saw my starting location, laughed, and, and exited. But um, maybe it was on fire, and it was just indoors, and I couldn't see it yet. But I didn't see any, any indication of fire where it started me. Uh, but yeah, it just feels really weird that I'm doing a shower victim start. <laughs> it puts me at the outside of a golf course, way outside of town. This is supposed to be like a burn. Originally, it was a burning house. You're in the house. It's on fire. You're in a city. You're surrounded by zombies in every direction. And you've got all these negatives, which is one of the things that made it really hard. Um... But yeah, it just seems a little weird that we've got this huge list of locations. In particular, I mean, most of these are pretty city-centric, and you're going to get stuck right in the middle somewhere. But the golf course in particular, why do we have a golf course on this list? <laughs> that just seems nonsensical. I don't understand why there's even golf courses on this list. The rest of them, I can live with. Cemeteries can usually be on the outer edges. Same with churches, zoos, eh, kind of sporadic middle or outer edge. The rest of these are commercial districts, so usually you're in the city center, so that's going to be hard. But golf course, <laughs> never ever in the city. Maybe adjacent, but I mean, that just trivializes the eight points you're spending. Well, not the whole eight points, but it, it takes away a large percentage of the, uh, the difficulty just automatically being in a safe place outside. And the golf course, at least in the past, had no zombie presence. So unless there was another thing next to you that had zombies, maybe that's changed. It's been a while since I did a golf course start. But um, yeah, it just seems weird to me. <laughs> I don't understand that. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hey there. Thank you. Uh, I cannot pronounce that name. Z -z 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 -z. Thank you <laughs> for the gifts. Uh, uh oh, Spitalier jumping in. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm getting cooler. I can feel it. I can feel it happening. I'm getting cooler already. Here, let me uh, let me queue up some zombie dogs for you. Uh, oops, oops. Hey, hey, go, don't go crazy on me, mouse. There you go. <laughs> the smell of a new run. I agree. I love the, uh, the, 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 the smell of a new run. Hey there, Leo. <clears throat> uh, let me back up through chat again. You guys were chatting while I was... Doing all my stuff. Uh, spend some points on facial hair? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, old time Twitch viewers. Yeah, it's been like, God, when did I start? It's been like five years. I think it's five years ago. It might be five years this coming. It was late October, early November when I started uh, putting stuff on YouTube. Not streaming. I did live streaming a little bit after that. But I started creating and publishing the tutor the original Cataclysm tutorial series uh, to YouTube. I'm pretty sure it was sometime mid-late October of last year. Somebody can go look. <laughs> Whatever the date stamp is on that episode one of that, that Titanic Mammoth 175 episode tutorial series. That's when I uh, first started doing this whole thing. Uh... Ba -ba 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 
Vorm with no crafting, does that include practice recipes for melee, athletics, training, etc.? I'm undecided on that, because it's not really crafting, you're, you're doing an action. So I'm, I'm probably leaning towards saying okay to that. I, I don't know. We'll talk about it. First, let me survive the first five minutes. It's not going to matter if I don't survive the first five minutes. Then we're going to, then we'll go into it. The whole can't press uh, the, 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 the ampersand symbol. <laughs> we may have some exceptions to that rule. Every time I do one of these, something like a no crafting or no whatever run, I always end up running into issues, just flat, can't progress issues just because the, the game's not really built to accommodate that kind of thing. So it's hard to give a, a naked 100% flat this or that kind of a thing. So we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, can you spawn in the haunted house? Uh, you cannot spawn in... Well, no, I'm not going to say that. I, I cannot tell you that you cannot spawn in the haunted house. I don't believe so, though. I don't think it's on the... I think it's a special, unique location, not one of the... 94 different houses that we have to go to here. You can see we have 92 house variants. I think the haunted house is a separate thing. I don't think it's included in the 92 variants. I could be wrong. I don't know for certain, but I, I would lean that direction. Okay. Yeah. The golf course start is, I mean, here's the negative. I remember we had a golf course start in a previous infection run. It does have a negative in that you're not in a city. And you could be quite a distance from a city if you pick the wrong direction to travel. And you have an infection. So you want to be in the city to start with because you need to get antibiotics. And that's house bathrooms, ambulances, and pharmacies. Maybe a doctor's office, but not so much. I barely, rarely ever go to doctor, doctor's office for the infection. But you need literally uh, bathroom, house bathrooms, uh, ambulances, and the pharmacy. The, those are your choices for the most part. Um, so starting in a golf course with an infection and you maybe not knowing where the nearby city is could be really bad. <laughs> so it has a consequence, but it just seems silly to me that it's even a choice. Uh, da -da -da. what's that irreparable thing? That is no healing whatsoever here. I'll, I'll show you traits. Whoops. Traits irreparable. It's a new one. Whatever caused the end of the world affected you in a horrible way. Your wounds will never never heal on their own and your broken limbs will never mend. So damage is permanent. I have a set pool of hit points and that is it for the entire challenge. Period. This is going to be so hard. <laughs> I'm going to be so risk averse. You guys that go crazy when I don't fight stuff, you're going to have to, <laughs> you're going to have to buckle up for this one because you think I'm risk averse normally. <laughs> you have not seen risk averse until you've seen me play with irreparable. That's what I think is going to be the interesting part. A, I got to survive the infection. I'm forced to run around a city looking for, uh, for, for antibiotics. So I've got to put myself in jeopardy while I do that. I also have to accumulate enough food and hydration once I have the antibiotics to survive the waiting period while we see with bated anxious breath whether the, the gods roll the dice favorably and I get to live or not, even if I have medicine. Uh, and then I am forcing myself to, again, go into cities looking for panaceas or labs, which is worse and or better. I, I, I probably have a better time doing it in a lab than I am the city. Uh, and then we're going to have to go get an activity suit. And I'm not going to spoil where the activity suits are. Chat people can spoil if they want or not, but um, they are not easy to get to. Um, so, yeah. And I have just a set pool of hit points, period. No healing, period. All right. How many deaths before we can find a panacea? I mean, you guys can start your own uh, betting pools. <laughs> That's fine. Um, can you do a poll real quick to decide the crafting dispute? Nah. Nah. <laughs> this is not a democracy. I am the grand poobah. I, what I decide is the, the, the way it will go. I don't even want to give anybody a hint that this is a democracy. I will on occasion ask for opinions, but uh, not judgments. <laughs> so I may ask, but let's let's get through the initial part. It's a question that will come up after I've uh, survived the first uh, day, and then we'll get into it. Uh, what's your strategy for combat if no hit is okay? Well, dodge. whole lot of dodging. Keep the fights one-on-one, -on -one, dodge, and run away a lot. And or try to kill from distance. That's, that's I mean, it's, it's the straightforward stuff. <clears throat> my understanding is I am not going to heal period. I, I have not played the irreparable trait. 
I saw it when I was monkeying around trying to figure out what kind of challenge to do today. I said, hey, that looks like a fun one. Let's make it even worse with all these other problems and restrictions. But I don't know the actual implementation. So it could be that bandaging and antiseptic is separate, that it just means natural healing is disabled. I don't know. I suspect not because it says limbs will never mend. That would be a function of putting on a splint and the limb mending, which would have nothing to do with things like uh, uh, other kinds of healing. So I suspect it's just disabled entirely. I mean, I'll grab some antiseptic and stuff and, uh, and or somebody in somebody in knows the code can go tell me what uh, what the deal is. But I don't know for certain yet. We'll, we'll find out. My assumption is I'm just flat not going to heal, period. Um, but there may be ways around it. Can you spawn and die from an over an overdose of what? <laughs> we don't have we're not we're not a, a heroin addict or anything like that. We're a shower victim, so we don't have anything that's just going to flat kill us from an overdose. We've got the infection is the worst. We've got the flu. We, we we're drunk, uh, all that kind of stuff. But we're 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 not uh, we're not addicted to to drugs or anything like that. RBD has always had a couple of different versions. I never liked the, uh, the 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 addict start for RBD in the old days. I always did the shower victim start. Barrels are your worst nightmare. They're they're almost always my worst nightmare in the early game. Shockers, not so much. We're not going to see too many uh, ranged fire shockers because we're in a default game world. So we got we got some time before that stuff shows up. It just depends on how long it takes me to get uh, the stuff I need. The longer it takes, the worse it's going to get for me, obviously, because of evolution. But just remember, completely default game world. This is not my 60 days head start, double evolution speed. We've got hulks and shockers and everything from day one kind of a start. This is a standard world start. So I should not have to worry about acid and shockers for a while. All right, I think I'm all caught up. So we're we're caught up on chat. Uh, do do do. Uh, what else landed here? Ah, oh, hey there, General Happy Pie. Thanks very much for converting from a Prime sub to a Tier One sub. <laughs> Glad you're sticking around. What type of items do you need to be good in this kind of challenge? We'll find out, won't we? So this is this is my favorite kind of challenge where I take a horribly handicapped character, try to get him to survive to do crazy, stupid things. In a default world, I like to find ways of making a default world hard in ways that force me outside my comfort areas, the things I typically do. You're probably still going to see me hop in the first Humvee we come across. There is no getting around that. <laughs> that is baked into my DNA now. If I see a Humvee I can drive, it is my Humvee. But uh, beyond that, this will force me to do things way differently. I mean, just think about feeding myself and, and, and water. I, I mean, I can clean water now that we have the pitch a 60 liter tank of, of dirty water over top of a fire. <laughs> I don't have to go to the boil water, clean water menu in the crafting menu. So I can get water that way. But we're going to run into a ton of things that just by habit, I know I can do in the crafting menu that make my life so much easier that I'm just not going to have access to. T terribly simple things are going to crop up. Um, I've done this kind of no crafting thing before, and I always ended up running into issues at certain points, but, uh, I've forgotten what they are. All right. Uh, so you'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do to, uh, to get through, but I like this kind of setup where I'm, like I said, I'm forced out of my comfort zones. I have to work around things that I normally find very easy to accomplish or do or know. Um, I'm hoping this will be more fast paced, more action packed for, uh, for, for viewers, then the last one. The last one was pretty heavy with downtime, so I wanted to flip that around. All right, uh, so let's jump in. Let's do that next. Anything else I need to answer here? So we got irreparable. That's new, so I knew we'd get questions on that. We're going for a, another fast character, so deft lets us recover from misses faster. Normally, if you you swing and you miss, you kind of go out of balance, and it takes a bit to recover time-wise. This cuts that time down, so you can attack faster. Fast reflexes is bonus to dodge. Uh, so our, our base dodge rate will be pretty high, pretty high initially. Um, and I'm going to try to push it as high as I can. Fleet footed. Yeah. You know, we move faster. Night vision. I don't have quick. I couldn't fit quick into the build with the other things I wanted to do and the other skills and trait levels that I wanted to have or stats. I mean, um, we don't have the extra stamina from XXL, none of that kind of stuff. But other than that, yeah, we have parkour. I did take parkour to go with fleet footed for our maneuverability, archery, dodgeball, and self-defense, which is the ninjutsu. 
Um, so there you go. We're going to try to be a quick, silent, dodgy ninja. Killing silently from the dark. That's what we're going to go for. And we may or may not succeed after I hopefully survive the infection. All right. Are you sure you're finished? Yes, I am. Let's get into this. It's already been almost half an hour. <laughs> I'm going to get gameplay starts at comments on YouTube's. Let's see, ninjutsu, a martial art and set of tactics used by ninja in feudal Japan, focuses on rapid, precise, silent strikes. Ninjutsu is almost entirely silent, and you have a higher chance to critically hit on your first attack. I'm hoping that with a high strength character, high speed, and with a decent weapon, we'll just flat out annihilate one-on-one -on -one encounters against standard zombies. That's what should happen. We're actually a really powerful character against early starting zombies. But we got to survive the initial part, and then I've just got to minimize my damage. Even a single hit point of loss uh, from a, a nick from a stupid low-level zombie is going to be critical. So it's going to be interesting what's going to happen. Uh, it also provides a small combat bonus every time you move. So, ninjutsu it is. Yes. Uh-oh. Did I pick the house? I think I picked the house. <laughs> I think I picked the house. Map. I did not get the house. I didn't pick the house. We started in a bank. Ah, God damn it. I don't know if the bank's on fire. All right, we're going to cancel. That's not what I want. I want a house. I want the traditional RBD house on fire start. Uh, Save and quit. Yes. Uh, world. No crafting. Reset world. Yes. New game. Preset character. You load. No crafting. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. See, that's what happens when you talk too much. <laughs> you lose track of what you need to have set. I showed that menu, and then I didn't pick the one I wanted. All right, so we're back to, uh, back to Melvin. Everything should be set except this. House, 92 variants. I don't care which house. Just give me a house. An on-fire house, damn it. And this other crazy start stuff. Ninjutsu, go. All right, that is the traditional RBD house on fire start. Yes. <laughs> Now we get to see that last map. I was scared too. That last map, we were dead center in the big of a middle, middle of a big city in the commercial district. That would have been rough to get out of. How are we set here? This is better. This is better. We're not on the outer edge, but we're you know we're 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 near the outer edge. We can see oh hunting supply store pharmacies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well. That's interesting. I'm going to need something pretty heavy to smash the, uh, the hunting supply store wall in. I can't craft a home wrecker like I would normally do. So we're either going to have to uh, do an automobile lockpick or find, uh, I don't, I don't, a uh, pipe wouldn't, I don't think with, even with 12 strength, I don't think a pipe would do it. We'll see. We'll see what we come across. But I have to come up with some way of uh, potentially getting in there. It's kind of irrelevant initially. There's no way I'm going to get into that thing at the start. Um, not likely anyway. We're, we're on an immediate shuffle for finding antibiotics and enough food and water and a safe place for me to hang out while I wait out the infection. That's That's all we're concerned about right now. Everything else is superfluous. All right. Uh, um, um. We need Heelys? Yeah, Heelys would be good. I wouldn't mind some Heelys. Uh, backing up through chat. You guys did a bunch of chatting again, dang it. Uh, no, we're going to be relying on maneuverability and dodge. So we're going to stay very light. I'll get some protection on, but nothing that's going to impact my, uh, my movement in a significant way. So nothing heavy on my legs or feet, things like that. So we'll, we'll see. Uh oh, no healing, huh? Sounds like you're playing a leper. Thomas Covenant, the unbeliever. <laughs> oh, good old Thomas Covenant. Man, was that guy reviled in the first book. <laughs> I'm not sure he even really redeemed himself by the end of the series. He was an asshole. <laughs> no way around it. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Don't try to sneak your, uh, your, your fantasy literature references past old Varmatrax. 
Let's see. Good luck on the early antibiotics find. Uh, it's it's honestly not usually my problem. <laughs> it's not usually my problem. Almost every single RBD run I've done, I've gotten the antibiotics within the first couple of hours and died anyway. <laughs> That's what annoys me so much. I get the antibiotics, risk my life. I know where they're at. I know how to find them. I get them. I get cozied up in a nook with enough stuff to survive. And then four hours real time and three days game time later of me pustulating and spewing, I die anyway. That's what I hate. I just hate the waste of the actual human being who's playing the game's time on something that he has zero control over at that point, taking that long to play out and just die anyway. That's all I care about. It's just the horrendous, horrendous use or lack of uh, respect of the human's time. I just wish they'd change that system in some way. Change it. I hate it. It's terrible. All right. Uh, da -da -da. Man, you guys are chatty at the start of these new challenges. Uh, do we have a museum? Don't worry. I know we'll be looking for museums and mansions. We got to get us some. Uh, we're high strength. This time I will be able to wear plate mail and chain mail and swing them big weapons. <clears throat> nah, no doctor's office. Don't care about doctor's office. No reason to go there. Did you get a new mic recently? No, I just fixed my settings. <laughs> there was a period of a couple of weeks where I thought my my volume levels were a little high. So I, I on my audio controller, I turned my gain dial down just a little bit. And apparently I went like a, just a, a millimeter too far so that when the sound signal went from the audio controller into my streaming software, where it hit my various filters and noise gates and so on, it made a hash of the sound, made me much, much quieter, and it seemed to cut in and out because the, the audio signal it was getting wasn't uh, as high or strong as it normally was. So there was a period of a couple of weeks, especially if you're watching on YouTube, where the volume and the clarity is pretty poor compared to my normal stuff. But all I did was, you know, turn it back a millimeter to the right, <laughs> and the problem's fixed. So, no, it's not a new mic. It's just... Uh, yeah, no, I got in my own way. I, I thought I was doing a good thing, turned out to be a bad thing. And I couldn't tell because when I edit, it, I only hear tiny snippets of sound and I've got headphones on and the volume's up. So I didn't really notice that the audio was not as good as it normally was um, until somebody pointed it out. And then I went back and listened and looked carefully and went, oh, yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's not what, what, what I want. Uh, yeah, so I fixed it a couple of weeks ago. It's just, again, the YouTube stuff is still rolling. Eventually, it will fix itself on YouTube as well. All right. Shotgun mic? No, it's not a shotgun mic. Uh, I've got all my gear listed in the uh, in the little panel below my Twitch screen thingy there. You can see everything I'm using. It's an Audio-Technica, by the way. Audio-Technica. AT, I forget the number, 2025, something like that. Been very happy with it. All right. Uh, back to gameplay. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, here we are. Damn, 33 minutes and I haven't moved to space yet. So, look. Everything looks great, right? Looks wonderful. Look at all that. We got we got stats. We got we got all sorts of stuff going on. Right up until I, I pass time. <laughs> there. I have passed a turn. Ah, horror! <laughs> I'm cold. I'm freezing cold, and there's a raging fire going on nearby. Oh, man, I haven't done RBD in a while. We've had a lot of changes since the last time I did RBD. Um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're handicapped. That's all the stuff hitting. We are trashed. That means drunk. Uh, we got the flu. We got an infected right leg. We're on painkillers, apparently, and uh, we're depressed. So, you know, good stuff. Um, the trash will fade off fairly quickly, so will the depressed and the painkillers effect. The uh, the flu is randomized. We're, we're, we're going to be with the flu for between 1 and 14 days. There's no way to affect that. You can't shorten it. You can't adjust it. You can't mitigate it. Well, you can mitigate the symptoms. You cannot mitigate the duration. The duration is set. It's fixed. <laughs> so when you get the flu, it just rolls them dice, and that's how many days you're going to be sick. So hopefully we got a short uh, short-term flu. We can hope. We can we can hope. It's not usually how it works for the Vormithrax, but, uh, you know, we'll go with it. Uh, and the infection, of course, we're going to try to take care of. This is actually my overriding concern. The good old infection. All right. So our, uh, our static, our, our modified dodge is 8.2, which is good. 
It's very good, but it's also daytime. It's 8 a.m. in the middle of a city, on the edge of a city. And um, we need to get the stuff we need, stay alive, and uh, get out of here. So the problem with uh, the pharmacies is that the area I need to get to is locked. I got to have a way of getting through the door. I got to survive the zombies that are in the area of the pharmacy seeing me in the broad daylight as I approach and going in to get the drugs. You can get stuck in that back room trying to get your drugs because the zombies will follow you in. So it's all going to come down to somewhat luck. Are we going to find a vehicle? Are we going to find certain items? What kind of enemies are nearby? There's a lot of things out of my control. But what I'm going to be doing is I need to look around carefully and... I either need to plot my paths through houses where I can just scoot in and out, grabbing, uh, hitting ba 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 bathrooms on the route. I need to scan roadways for ambulances. I don't know if going in towards the heart of the city is a wise idea, even though that's where the pharmacies are. So I might do kind of a loop around thing where I might do something like do this and then loop around, depending on if I find what I need. Because if I find what I need in the interim, I'll just bop right out of the city and we'll go find a place in the countryside to hang out. Um, if not, if I haven't, after I've made it that far, then I might be forced to loop in towards the pharmacy. But we got to do it as quick as possible. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But we'll get moving and we'll see, we'll see what, what's going on. No gear section on Twitch. It's actually been a while since I looked at my Twitch page. Usually, I can't look at it right now anyway. <laughs> And I see it differently than you guys do. Uh, there's supposed to be a, a, like, the Amazon affiliate link. Here's my gear. You can go take a look at it and buy it if you want to use it yourself. That kind of a thing. But I haven't got out and looked in quite a while. So maybe it's no longer there or something happened to it. Could be broke. But it's, a, it's an Audio Technica AT2025. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Uh, if our man Melvin can't read, how's he going to sort out his what? His flu. See, I've brought that up. I've brought that up in the past. That the the uh, the, the the can't read trait, the illiterate trait, specifically when you take that. How are you reading medicine bottles? How are you reading the the labels on drinks? All that kind of stuff. You automatically know the names of all the items in the game, regardless. But I mean, that's that's kind of a specious thing. It's gamified and. You can't take everything like that into into consideration, but yeah, I've I've mentioned that in the past. I don't think there's a good way of handling it. <laughs> so, uh, da, da, da. nah, no addictions drug. It doesn't work that way in the RBD anymore. Now you've got uh, the hobbies thing where you can choose if you would like to be to, to add on drug addictions and all that kind of stuff. I never did the drug addictions one though. I mentioned it earlier. I didn't. I, I was never a fan of the uh, the the drug addicted RBD start. That was so 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 radically lottery randomized whether you would survive that thing. That uh, I just never enjoyed it and always did the shower victim start instead. Place bets on the dumbest way you'll take damage. It'll be self-inflicted. <laughs> I know that. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I, I'm always surprised. I've had I've had rabbits almost kill me before. Um, so yeah, it's we'll, we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. Let's let's actually do some things, man. And we're 38 minutes in. You guys keep uh, keep distracting me. All right, what do we see? What do we see? Uh, sort by items. We've got foods. We've got books. We've got a laptop. A flannel jacket. Ooh, that's what I need. That'll warm me up. Uh, we need carry capacity. Current. Oh, I guess I should show this. Here's what we've got: a bar of soap and a towel. That's that's our total, our total, uh, our total amount of gear and stuff. So I can't just grab stuff. I have to get out of this house before I burn to death. I have to. Uh, Get on the move. I have to avoid detection. I have to find uh, carry capacity. So I'm hoping that jacket. Let's go look at that jacket. Hey, flannel jacket. You got uh, you got pockets. Protection repair pockets. Uh, 1.6 whole liters, huh? I'm not sure you want to put that thing on. Let's see. I need to get to a bedroom, ideally. I'd love to scavenge the kitchen cabinets real quick for a couple of basic tools, but those are kind of... I can't craft... Actually, what am I thinking? I can't craft. God, I'm going to have to constantly remind myself that... <laughs> what good is it to have 
I guess there's some circumstances where an action might require a tool, but uh, I can't craft, so I don't have tool requirements for crafting needed. I don't have material needs for hoarding certain things. Um, and if I want to go to a bedroom, I have to go towards the fire because I don't think there might be a way around up here, but I think this is the way to the bathroom and the rest of the house. I don't want to go adjacent to this fire space. It's probably already warm over here. Yeah, this is not a not not an auspicious start for us map wise. All right, let's uh let's move north a little bit. Oh, there is a way around. Awesome. Oh, it takes me to the garage. Please tell me there's clothes in here. Leggings and a skirt, and that's it. Whoa, good old 1.0 drop rate world. I wish to drink you milkshakes. <laughs> uh sure, let's 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 have some deluxe milkshakes while we can. And what else? A yogurt is good for us. Ah, oh, the butter. We have returned to the age of butter. Let's see. Tell me there's a working car. No working car. Sewing kit, exacto knife. Mm, hard hat, yellow hard hat. Protect our cranium. All right, how many, how many bats there's roaches are going to immediately start eating me? No roaches. Look at that glorious night vision. One, two, three. Oh, we're only getting four. Oh, that's because my perception is lowered. What do we got? Sort character or sort category. Sort category. Oh, yes. Hockey mask. We got to wear a hockey mask. Hydrochloric acid. <laughs> Here we go. Get the hockey mask going on. Nothing in the bathroom. A suit. Wear the suit. What do we got? 5.5 liters. Oh, ah, it is a roach basement. <laughs> it's a roach basement. I was right. Where are the roaches? Where are you hanging out, roaches? There's one. Uh, leave me alone. I said, leave me alone. God dang, he's fast. Wow, he's real fast. I thought I was pretty quick. I don't have the quick trait, but I got fleet foot. Oh, wait, what's my speed? 79. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Never mind. It's because I'm handicapped. Get out of here. I don't need roaches. No, no. Ah, he followed me. Can I get through the door? Woof, just barely. We're already out of stamina. I'm not used to playing low stamina characters. Uh, I can't wait to catch my breath either. I gotta get out of this house. Um, oh man, I don't want to go adjacent to this thing. I'm gonna. Well, that doesn't help. Ah, nothing in the closet. <laughs> uh, cargo shorts. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna regret taking that quiver. Um, no space for cargo shorts. Wield cargo shorts. Drop the soap. Ah, ah. All right, we gotta we gotta make a decision here. Which way we going? Which way we going? Uh, I got a pool behind me. I do not want to go anywhere in the direction that'll expose that. Construction site has a tiny chance of an excavator being on the road out in front of it. I can't tell which side's the front, but uh, there could be an excavator. Usually a working one. That's a possibility, so we might step out to find an excavator. I think I'm going to do what I said. I think I'm going to go south first. We'll try to cross the road. We'll get into some of these other neighborhoods. That'll also get me closer to the outer edge. I, I just can't afford to run straight for the pharmacy. We wouldn't survive it. <laughs> yeah, more quotes from former Thrax. They're out of context, quotes from former Thrax. I should have started up that... Uh, that bulletin board message for uh, five years ago. We got some doozies. Uh, 
All right. <clears throat> yeah, let's so let's go out this way. They got the window. I need a few seconds. I think I'm going to go out this way. All right, this gets me away from the fire. We'll get our breath back. We've got we'll check the the cabinets. We've got a little bit of storage space. All right. Uh I got eyes and mouth encumbrance. All right, ditch the mouth or ditch the mask. <laughs> it's fun until it start taking away my stamina. No eye and no mouth encumbrance. That's what we want. All right, what are we going to take? We're going to take a candle, a flashlight, and a lighter. Those are good, good early choices. Are you guys going to be mean and rename my stuff? Are you going to be evil renamers? Do I take a permanent marker or do I save myself the, the 0 .05 volume? <laughs> Either Vampire Fox. Yeah, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need all the luck. All of it. All right. We'll, we'll take one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with the, uh, the tools. I can't craft. I can't think of too many situations where... Well... Vehicle manipulation. So I, if I get ropes from uh, taking like seat belts out of cars, that doesn't use the crafting menu, and I can butcher it for. Well, what? I, why would I be butchering it? I can't craft. I don't need the string. <laughs> I'm having to think through so many, so many normal processes I do. Uh, we'll take an exacto knife, an extra battery, and h garbage bag, gallon size zipper bag. Hmm. I assume I can wield this and it carries a lot or it doesn't carry anything. Not rigid, volume increases with its contents. Hundred and ten liters. I think I'll just grab a grab a grab a garbage bag. So we're gonna wheel the garbage bag. Um, oh, that's right. Uh, just wear that for now. Cargo shorts and a suit. That's fine. All right. Step across. Hot corn casserole. Uh, we'll grab it. Oh, that's right. I always forget about that. God dang it. Cancel. <laughs> can eat it, but I can't grab it. Uh, we'll take the butter and the cheese and the bacon. I think I'll leave the rest. What else we got? We'll take a knife. So let's take a look. So ninjutsu, for those who don't know, here is ninjutsu. You can go to the uh, the martial arts select a style menu. You can select it. You can hit F1. That brings up the styles detail screen. We can arm block at unarmed combat three. We have that. So we do have arm blocks as part of our melee arsenal along with dodging. Uh, so it'd be good, nice to get some kind of an arm defense, hard arm guards or something like that to help us with the, blo the blocking. Uh, we have... Um, Less noise with movement. Attacks are completely silent. We have a sneak attack bonus with our critical hit chance going up. We have momentum shift. Accuracy is uh, upped by 20% of dexterity. Dodge goes up. Uh, loss of surprise. Escape plan. Even more dodging. Plus speed bonus. Swift strike. Swift strike. A lot of this we do qualify for already. So what are we missing? We don't get the momentum shift. We need one more level of unarmed combat. No, reverse. We we do get momentum ship. We don't get escape plan. We need one more melee in order to get escape plan. We do have swift strike. We do have swift strike crit. We do not have takedown. We do not have assassinate. Here's what I wanted to look at, though. Here's the weapons that are valid to use while being a ninja. A broom. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can find quarter staffs. I don't remember finding a quarter staff in game or a staff sling. Those are, I think. Crafted only, so those are out of my my list. A mop, a pool cue. Uh, is steak knife on the list? 
Eh, scanning, scanning. Bone knife is. I'm assuming steak knife is. I don't see steak knife. Am I missing steak knife? I see a lot of knives in there. I don't see steak. Oh, never mind. It's highlighted in yellow. Dumbass. <laughs> I'll get there. Don't worry. I'm new to this game. I I, I don't know how to read interface. Uh, bladed farming tools. Sure. Medium swords, long swords. Yeah, we don't have any of this stuff. This is mainly the area I'm looking at here. So we, we can use our martial art with the steak knife. We'll go with that for the moment until we find something better. I'd actually prefer blunt, I think, more than I would that. But, um, yeah. Is no crafting limit self-imposed? It is. It is a completely self-imposed restriction. Technically, so is the illiteracy. Because I couldn't fit the illiterate trade in with the irreparable uh, on the multi-pool list. But, uh, you know. All of those parts of the challenge are self-inflicted. Uh, all right, so we have a bag. Let's see. Shall we put this stuff in the bag just to keep everything in one place? Inventory, garbage bag, insert. You can have that, 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 that. All the food. We're going to ditch the towel. Should probably put the quiver in there too. I'm not going to use it for a while. Will it fit? Guess it will not. It's probably too long. Fine. Well, no, I'm carrying it in my inventory. Oh, it is. It's already in the garbage bag. Never mind. <laughs> All right. This stuff's in the garbage bag. Got it. All that stuff. Cool. Now I can, if I need to, just drop that and be uh, more capable. Uh, I think we're good here. Let's, uh, let's, let's get outy. Crouch. Oh, zombie spotted me. <laughs> uh, not the way I wanted to go. All right, so it begins. This is where we're going to die quickly, because I am slow, slow, slow. Uh, Let's review. We got a solar vehicle looking in good shape. Is it in good shape? It has wheels. Has a broken security system. Everything looks good there. As long as the engine's not busted, we have a drivable vehicle immediately. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> Look at that busted electric motor. Oh, it's funny. Funny. It was close. So close. Hey there, Lago Vista Mags. Thanks very, very much for dropping some gift subs. Let's uh, let's uh, kick out some 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 limited edition zombie dogs and things. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was doing this. Oops. A mouse on the wrong screen here. Cancel. All right, so I was trying to scroll over here. Uh, uh oh, we have another potential stereo system. Oh, I thought it was said security system was broke. That one is a maybe. Faulty engine and security system. Chances are really good that won't be drivable, so we're not going to do that. Oh, do we already have a rename that I missed? Too much chitter chatter. And go up, go up, go up. Oh, oh, there it is. Rename flashlight to Beacon of Hope. Uh, you'll have to wait. <laughs> if I forget again, remind me again. But I can't do it. I, I'd have to wield it and so on. And time's going to pass. This is too critical. As soon as I get a quiet spot, I'll do that. All right. Uh... All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. All the folks that have never heard of this game that are watching are going to get to see me die horribly right away and go, wow, that guy's a complete nub. 
<clears throat> um, oh. Oh, that's not the right one. I got excited for a second. Remember how I mentioned there might be a working uh, excavator out here? I saw the vehicle here and went, oh, that might be it. But no, that's that's another electric SUV. That's not the excavator. What else we got, though? Mm, cigarettes. Uh, nothing else I can see. Oh, it's raining subs. Hey, Volrath. Thanks very much. Oh, hype train is close. Really? How are we not in a hype train already? <laughs> Were they they must have been spaced out just right to not trigger the hype train. That's weird. Alright, alright, let's uh do tell you what, let's go with an alternative set. Okay. Thanks very much, Volrath. Appreciate the uh, the gift subs. The fun to keep warm cool is increasing. Yeah, I have a, a, a tight cap on my Cataclysm play. A purposeful Vorm does not want to completely, totally burn out after approaching 5,000 hours of play. <laughs> and so he uh, he very tightly restricts his Cataclysm play every week. Eight hours. We get two four-hour streams of Cataclysm. That's what you get. If I do more than that, we seriously risk me just throwing my hands up saying, No more! We don't want that. Oh, uh, at one time, back in the day, I was doing three eight-hour sessions of Cataclysm a week. And playing, th I think I was doing three series at once at one point. And I was, it was just absolute brain melt overload. <clears throat> so I slowly pared back and pared back. And after this much time playing, it's, uh, it's pared back pretty far. Uh, yeah, I don't have any way of doing anything other than sub points. So the, the points it's talking about are sub points. The tier one, tier two, tier three subs are worth very different amounts of points. It's more points for the tier two, tier three, because it's more money for those. Um, so it weights the tiers differently. That's why it's on a point basis. Some people do, uh, do choose the higher tiers. So they get more points value out of it. But uh, I don't have an option for that little thing, the widget, to set it to anything other than followers or points, sub points. <laughs> so bits are greatly appreciated and will be added to the fund, but uh, it's the, the sub points is the only thing it's counting. So subs and gift subs. <sighs> can you somehow check your total time on Cataclysm? No, there's no way to do that. I mean, you can go count my hours on YouTube. That's the way, basically. But it doesn't count... The endless number of hours I spend in test worlds, answering questions on Reddit, Discord, YouTube comments. I mean, I'm, I've been immersed in the Cataclysm universe. Absolutely ridiculous number of hours over the last five years. <clears throat> I had to pare back my participation in Discord and Reddit and so on as well. Because it was just too much. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can just go count the YouTube <clears throat> I passed a hundred challenges quite a while ago. I think I, I don't know exactly how I'm, how many I'm up to now, but um, and each challenge run averages between thirty and fifty hours. So that alone gives you some general idea of how much time I've got in, at least. RBD stands for really bad day. It's the name of scenario start. Sounds like me with seven days to die, 10,000 hours played. You got me beat by quite a bit. I'm only somewhere between two and 3,000 hours into seven days to die. No, I don't have him beat. <laughs> Not on seven days to die. I can't actually estimate my time on seven days to die properly because I have some time played uh, not on the same Steam account um, and such. So, But it's just nowhere near that, that much. <laughs> All right, let's die. Let's get killed. Uh, so run for the house across the street, or yeah, I, what'll if I cross the street this direction, trying to get to this house. All right, so here's the problem. Let me let me describe the situation for the new players or the new folks. So this is me. Oops, that's me right there. I am uh, I am I am I'm drunk. I have the flu. I have an infected leg. I'm sad. I was depressed. Now I'm just down to sad already. Uh, we have a bunch of negatives hitting our stats. I'm slow. I'm in the middle of a city, 
and I got a lot of problems. So all of these things around me are enemies. They're zombies all coming to eat me. Different kinds of zombies. This is the one I worry about currently. This guy's faster than the other ones and faster than me. Um, I have a limited pool of hit points that I can never fix. I cannot heal in any way, shape, or form. So I have a flat fixed hit point pool that will never go up. But I can't, got to avoid damage at all costs, even little tiny bits of damage. Uh, this is the initial stage. I've got to get what I need, avoid contact with the enemy in broad daylight, find a hole to hide in, and wait out the infection with drugs. So this will have many starts. I'm going to likely die a few times, if not every time. Uh, it's it's pretty bad, but we're, we're, we're better equipped than most characters to survive this. But it does come down quite a bit to some luck in what we get as a start position. Uh, so I'm evaluating my area. I'm trying to figure out if there's any working vehicles nearby. The, every vehicle I've seen so far is a no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I am being teased. <laughs> it has wheels. It has wheels. How come no, none of you pointed out the Humvee down the street? How come nobody pointed out the Humvee? <laughs> Did somebody point out the Humvee and I didn't see it? Oh my gosh. Let's check the driver's seat. No controls! Tanfu wins! <laughs> you have won the internet, Tanfu. At least my tiny, tiny slice of the internet. <laughs> he guessed the problem with the Humvee. Look at that. Look how beautiful this, this engine compartment is. Damn it! That was so close. That would have been beautiful. Ah. Oh. Does it have gas? It even has fuel. It's got everything I needed except for this one line right here with the XX no controls. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> they've, they've baited me twice now with a uh, solar car or an electric car and a Humvee. Uh, no other candidates. So we don't have any immediate rescues available to us. Uh, so I am going to try to cross the street. So let's, let's get moving. So it's a turn-based game. Everything is moving as I move. See how fast that dog's approaching? I got to turn on sprint mode. I've got limited stamina with which to sprint right here. That is also a resource I have to be super careful with. I got to break contact, basically. Somehow. So we might have to scurry on up a, uh, a house drain. We have a drain pipe right here. I could scurry up onto the roof and then drop down the backside. Possibly we'll fall and break our neck. That'll be fun if I lose all the hit points that I've got to uh, falling off a roof. 